To start using Windows 7, all you need to do is turn on your computer, and Windows leaps onto the screen. But before you start working, Windows might just surprise you with the first screen. It asks you to log on by clicking your name. If you don't see your name on the welcome screen, then you have a couple of options. If it's a new computer, use the account named Administrator. The administrator can set up new accounts for all the users, install programs, and access all the files for all the users. You can also log on as a guest. This account lets anyone use the computer temporarily, like a babysitter or a visiting family. Now if there is no guest account and no administrator account listed, you'll have to find out who owns the computer and beg them to set up a username for you. Let's say you just don't want to log on at the welcome screen. You're in luck. The hidden welcome screen buttons give you some other options. This little blue button in the bottom left corner customizes Windows 7 for people who have some kind of physical challenge. Hearing, sight. If you push it by mistake, just press cancel to get rid of the screen without changing any settings. The little red button in the bottom right corner lets you turn off your PC. If you accidentally hit that, don't panic. Just press your computer's power button and the welcome screen comes back. If you click this little arrow, you can turn off your PC or restart it. If you want Windows 7 to revert to this safe, password-protected logon screen whenever you leave your desk for a few minutes, you can do that. After you enter your username and password, right-click on the desktop and choose Personalize. Choose Screensaver and select the On Resume Display Logon Screen checkbox. You can adjust the number of minutes before the logon screen kicks in. Click OK to save your settings and close the window. Launching Windows 7 is easy, but remember Windows wants all users to log on so it knows who's using the computer at all times.